right now, the internet is a pretty dangerous place, but then again, that's the case usually all the time. Um, but in particular, if you're a Smash Brothers fan and you're trying to avoid the leaks that could potentially happen, you have to be on high alert today. Now, some of you may know this already, some of you may not. Either way, I'm going to inform you if you don't, so you can be caught up to speed. There's maintenance going down today for the Wii U and the 3DS, and if you guys remember, there were things that were leaked with patches before with Smash Brothers, so I want you all to understand that there could potentially be something that happens today. Most likely, Nintendo won't make the same mistake twice in a row, but then again, it is Nintendo, so they might just do so once more. But I mean, with Smash Brothers, you would think they would handle that IP with more care next time to avoid unnecessary spoilers in strange places like DLC patches or whatever. But I mean, there's going to be a maintenance, so I'm just giving you the heads up. And on top of everything else, we also have some potential leaks today as well, too. I didn't take a look at these yet because I wanted to cover them on camera with you guys. Um, by the time we run through these, I'll be able to let you guys know within the title and the thumbnail of this video if they'll be, you know, more realistic or not. Either way, let's take a look at this really, really quick. Obviously, I'm taking somewhat of a risk myself because as much as I would like to not be surprised by this shit too, it's kind of my job to bring this shit to you guys. So, you know, either way, I'm caught into a really weird position with this whole thing. Trust me, your boy would not like to be spoiled either, but like I said, it's, it's kind of my duty to bring this shit to the people that don't have the ability to look it up themselves or don't have the time because they're working so much. Either way, guys, let's get into this really, really quick. Um, we're back on the Game Facts. It's been a while since I've been to this website, actually. The only websites that I really browse a lot are 4chan and NeoGoff, so I mean... Anyways, so we have some spoilers, apparently, from Captain Jigs. Not sure if he has a reputation or not. Um, let, me, let me know in the comments section below if you guys know of this person. Um, I only lurk game facts. I don't post here, I, but I, I post a lot on 4chan though. Anyways, um, I said I would leak, didn't I? For concerns, I will not post the ballot winner. Why? Save that salt for tomorrow, but I'm happy with the ballot winner, and it's not Shovel Knight. Also, the ballot winner was not blank. Alright guys, so I mean, hey, the chances, are they really there for this to be real? I don't know, but this post, for some strange reason, seems like it's definitely a little bit more informed than the ones on 4chan, although it is all text at the end of the day, so I mean, I don't know. You can't really judge that. I mean, it may seem one way. He may be talking in a somewhat authoritative manner, but I mean, you can't really judge based off of the, the feel that you get from the poster. So, I mean, whatever. Let's just move forward with this. Okay, so the ballot winner was not Inkling. All right. And so now he's going to post, apparently, the um, spoilers for what the announcement is tomorrow. So prepare your fucking dicks. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, the text here is actually censored, so you can't see what it is. You have to click it in order to reveal it. So let's see. Release date for Cloud is given right after the broadcast. Something that we have all expressed that we want to see, and I actually sort of predicted in a way. I mean, but then again, it's not really that difficult to predict. He's already complete. Why not give him out right after the broadcast? Make things even more hype, right? Wolf is revealed. This would be something great. Along with some stage called The Great Station from Star Fox Zero. Okay, only for the Wii U. That's actually kind of expected too. They're going to definitely want to put Star Fox Zero on the map, considering it'll be one of the last titles to come out for the Wii U if the NX does premiere next year and, you know, we get a whole brand new system. Yeah, definitely want to put some highlight on Star Fox Zero. Um, isn't it coming out in February? They, they changed the day. They pushed it back, I know. Um, quarter one, I think. Um, anyways, and 3DS gets Sector Z. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I do play the 3DS version consistently myself, so I mean, this is great news for me that they're definitely not leaving the 3DS version out of things, but then again, they never really did. Although it didn't really see as many of the returning stages as the Wii U did. Um, although it did get, um, it did get Dreamland, so I mean, hey, can't complain. Um, let me see, we have Ivysaur and Squirtle revealed as individuals like Charizard. <laughs> Okay, this one kind of touches home for me a little bit because Ivysaur was one of my favorite characters in Brawl. Um, actually, I did prefer PM Ivysaur, of course, like I think many people prefer their PM variants of their characters, but I mean, Ivysaur, even in vanilla Brawl, was one of my favorite characters. I can say probably my second favorite, um, right next to Kirby. And um, Squirtle, I don't know, I was a little bit indifferent to Squirtle, but Ivysaur would always be the, the one I go to whenever I pick Pokemon Trainer. Uh, and we have Saffron City, N64, revealed as a stage. This is also something that we were anticipating too, with Daddy Sakurai bringing back those old classic stages, and why not Saffron City from the original N64 um, Smash Brothers. It, it was an awesome level, and I always had those Pokemon coming out of the door. Um, really fun to play on that stage. Probably definitely will not be legal, but I mean, hey, still great for, uh, for a laugh or two. And plus, we get the Final Destination variant, which should probably look pretty interesting. Um, anyways, Inkopolis from Splatoon, shown as a stage. I like that. Um, Magicant for the Wii U version shown, very nice. 
Um, Summit from Brawl is shown as DLC. Okay, damn. So a lot of a lot of things coming back, man. And then we have Tails. <laughs> Tails is revealed as a new DLC character, probably for the Rio 2016 Olympics. Oh, really? Now, okay. A final stage is shown. Mushroom Park from Mario Party 10 is shown. It's a stage where you fight in the car that moves around the board. Apparently, I know nothing about Mario Party 10. Didn't play the game. Wasn't really interested in myself. I mean, not to say that I don't like Mario Party, but um. Or rather, I don't think Mario Party's fun, but I, I never played it. Never really was interested. Um, anyways, that's all I got. Okay, well, let's see what some people's opinions are on this whole thing. If only, if only, from Endgamer. Well, except for Tails. Tails sucks. Um, this would be nice if it was true. Knuckles would fit more. Hmm. And then someone else says, I agree. This would be cool if true, though. Definitely would be a good direct. It, it would catch a lot of people off guard. If we just, if we just spoiled ourselves. I don't know. I mean, would I have lost my mind to seeing Tails in the game? Maybe not. I mean, I don't know. I, I really I really don't know how I feel about the Sonic franchise anymore. I mean, it, it's definitely still one that's close to my heart, but in terms of one that I can really get hype over, not so much, man. I mean, do we re do I really want another Sonic the Hedgehog rep inside of Smash Brothers when his games are kind of on the low low? I don't know. Um, let me see. Wouldn't be as bad, but I love Tails, I doubt that after Cloud, he'd be the big newcomer reveal. Still fake as hell, though, from Dizox. Yeah, I agree, dude. Like, would Tails really be the follow-up to Cloud? Why would he put Cloud before Tails, dog? I mean, I don't, I don't think Sonic is winning to that extent to be able to get two reps in that bitch. I mean, of course, Tails is iconic, but iconic in the same way as Cloud is? Definitely not. Um, to have Ivysaur back would make me quite happy. Um, the rest of it isn't the half bad either. Though I will remain cautious as usual. One interesting thing about this list is that we actually didn't see Ice Climbers make a return. So, I mean, a lot of people are hoping that they do. We, of course, have the information that the Ice Climbers wouldn't be able to work on the 3DS version. But there is some debate in terms of whether they would work if enough time was put into the development. Um, and maybe they didn't have that time when Smash Brothers originally came out. So they're just being pushed back. But we'll see. Uh, to have Ivysaur back, um, let me see. Yeah, exactly my reaction. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't lose my mind to fucking Tails. Like, I mean, I, I, would I be mad? No. But I mean, Tails, I wouldn't go fucking crazy over that, dude. Like, who the hell would go crazy over Tails? I mean, well, okay, let me, let me not ask that question. I already know we got a couple of fur fags in the goddamn, <laughs> in the comments. I'm, I'm kidding. I don't mean, it, it, I, I'm not trying to offend everybody intentionally, okay? But I'm just saying, I don't think a lot of people will go crazy over Tails. Um... So anyways, what do you guys think of this apparently leaked list here? There were other things that were happening too on 4chan. Um, I covered some of those with Alax in our interview video. So go check those out if you haven't seen them. Um, they're, they're in the interview video. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, th this, this list, what excites me the most is definitely Ivysaur. Um, we're going to get um, a 3DS stage. Um, the cloud release, of course, right after the broadcast. Um... And Inkopolis from Splatoon, that's actually a really cool idea too. In fact, it makes so much goddamn sense for them to put an Inkopolis stage in Smash Brothers, or some stage from Splatoon in Smash Brothers, that I, I can almost, I don't want to say I guarantee it's going to happen, but it makes a whole lot of sense for it to happen at some point. If not now, then maybe later on. Either way, guys, let me know what you think about this list. Um, keep me informed. If you find anything else that's an interesting look, um, definitely let me know in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Um, be safe out there. The maintenance is happening today, so I mean, if you don't want to get caught off guard, now is probably the best time to go straight hermit mode and not activate your fucking phone or your computer for the next 24 hours until 5 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern Time. I'll see you dudes in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.